The first thing is, is actually there's no such thing as reputational risk as such. The risk is to something else. It's a consequence of your reputation of damage. So you might have, you know, might be running a risk that an employee, um, they go to the paper to show how weak your security is. You know, yeah, look, you know, I haven't got the right pass, but look, this door's open, look, look, look. The risk is all about your security, but the, the reputation consequence that don't meet that, we see as reputational risk. So reputation itself is a bit of an artificial one, but so many people talk about reputation risk. You swim against the tide to say, oh, it's not a risk. It is, and people won't give you work if you use it. Don't say it's a risk. But you've got to look at it in terms of our aspects of the business. The way it's probably still up there, top strategic risk. To business, and I suspect it's still up there as number one. It's certainly going to be on top of one because everyone's reputation depends on it. There's so many different situations where it kills the company. So, we are publicly available crisis on forms. It's the media taking an interest, and that can be a double edged sword in the sense that um, you've got some publicity, and if you handle it well, you can come out of it well. But quite often, they're looking for it to be a negative. There's not such newsworthy about good stories there. So you do really have to be on the ball to be able to manage it. So it's a question which edges sharp, and generally it's the negative side, so it's never a good thing. And this is a definite one. If you look at uh, the, the guys who write most about this, Rikus, uh, Narki, um, and there's a book there, Risk Issues and Crisis in Public Relations, good book. Uh, there is no good side to ignoring the media. Now, earlier on I said I interviewed the pilot, did that triple seven. Um, BA 